guys, my name is Vic of US Market Biz, and in this video I am going to share with you a very very high potential coin and also I'm going to share with you its website so that we can explore further what that project is and also their community built modules okay so without further ado let's start right so this is the token so it, it is DAB so DAB means decentralized autonomous vehicle. So this is their website. Yeah, it's the coin of transportation. It's a blockchain-based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network. Okay, so let's scroll down. So they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So the first one is I mean, there's two videos here. The first one is the DAV overview on the left side. And the second one is the first Australian company that utilized the DAV protocol for shipping and logistics. Okay, so you can view it here or also you can view it at their YouTube page. Right, so also um, this is their um, social media link. So the first one is their DAV magazine. The second is the DAV forum. Um, the third one is Telegram group, the Kakao talk, um, the Twitter, the GitHub. So if you're a developer and you want to contribute to the DAV network, you can join their DAV community in GitHub, right? Their YouTube, so subscribe to their YouTube page, or channel rather, um, their LinkedIn, their Reddit, and their Facebook page, okay? So DAV protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services to put their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network, creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation ecosystem. Right? So here it is, their technology. So their technology consists of three major components. So these are decentralized discovery, communication protocol, and trustless cooperation tools. Okay, so let's check their community built modules. So here it is. So the first one is their drone charging network. So this one connects drones and charging stations in an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using DAO tokens. So currently, a DAO Alliance member has made available a network of five charging stations in northern Italy. These stations offer charging services through the DAO network in exchange for DAO tokens. Okay, so here it is, a um, sample of the app where you open it, you will be uh, seeing uh, different charging stations in your cell phone or in your computer or in your monitor. Right? So the next one is the drone flight planning. So this one connects drones and service providers, allowing them to buy and sell flight planning services on the DAV network using DAV tokens. So drones pass the waypoints of their planned trip, and the route planner bids to offer a service in exchange for DAV tokens. Once a mission has been awarded, the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through, so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So currently, um, integration with the Devil Lens member has been completed and the service is currently offered in Nevada, USA. So this is very, very nice and since you can monitor your drone and you'll know when will it arrive at its destination and you know that your drone is safe. Okay. So the next one is the drone missions app. So Missions is the first app to uh, be app built to showcase the DAV ecosystem. It connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones. Users request drone services, drones bid for those services, and trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. So integration with the first drone partner, Copter Express, is underway. So here's the sample of what it's going to be. So Missions, uh, you can, once you open it, one. You will see drones and then yeah, the drone will bid for that service so that they will be the one that will deliver your package to your desired 
location, okay? So the next one is DevZ Align Testnet. So our command line interface tool was built to make developing applications and services that interact with Dev a much more pleasant experience. It allows developers to easily run a local testnet containing Dev contracts, generate identities secured by private and public keys, and register them on the blockchain. This allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with Dev and more. So the current status for this is fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects work on the on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. Okay, so the dev developer portal. So the, the their developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running the command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. So multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. Okay. So the block explorer. So these are more on the software part of the Dev network. So the black block explorer allows users to explore local Ethereum testnets. This is development and debugging for developers building apps and services on top of Dev. So the current status for this is work is underway to package the block explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the Dev CLI tools. So mission control. So mission control serves as the discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles, users, and services. Fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries, currently being expanded to support vehicle of their first partners. So the next one is this one. So this one is the autonomous boat. So Dab and the California Maritime University are developing an autonomous boat called Nemo. Nemo, when launched at the end of September, um, Nemo will be tasked with collecting oceanographic measurements at, in the San Francisco Bay. When Nemo runs low in energy, it connects to the Dev Network purchase and pay for the charging stations, charging services, with Dev tokens, and after it charges, heads back to sea. So Nemo will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So that is Nemo, as you can see on the right. Uh, the boat is ready. Work on the onboard computer and its final uh, final integration with the Dev Network is in progress. And the next one is this one. So this is very very useful. So Dev and Sarin, a robotics prototyping platform, are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone and search rescue missions. The rover will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to the last known location, and then using its onboard lighter and meter vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. Rossbot and meter vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. So this is very very useful because you know we don't know what happens, and this robot and rover will help us find our drone, right? So. Those are their uh, community built modules, and as you can see, they've made a lot already. And these are very, very interesting. Okay, so this is the roadmap. Um, the white paper, the team of advisors. Okay. Right, so their um, main team and their open source contributors also. Right, guys, so DAB, their alliance members. Here it is. So if you want to join their alliance, just click here. So this is their alliance page. So the DAV Alliance is a coalition of enterprises, innovators, and leaders in the transportation industry. So their purpose is to bring together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on innovation standards for a global decentralized network. So he, these are the benefits of becoming an alliance member, shared knowledge and influence, blockchain technology, and DAV protocol. Okay, so here's the form where you fill out if you want to join their alliance. Okay, and their list of alliance members. You okay, guys, their um, Telegram group. Right, so DAV. Right, so include this one in your research list, and I know you're going to love this one. Right? Okay, so.
before I go, um, also uh, if you're use holder and you want to claim an airdrop for EOS um, you only have less than 24 hours left to go to each, this one this website par parcelreward.com slash access slash sign dash up and enter your email and your EOS wallet's name address so you can get some free seed tokens issued by parcel if you miss the deadline, you will already be registered for the next airdrop next month anyway. So it will. It is also. Uh, it's still worth doing Lisa. You will need to answer two easy questions on the website when registering for the free airdrop. Also, so here it is. Also, um, if you're uh, fond of listening to podcasts and watching videos in regards to EOS, join this Telegram group so that you can keep up with all the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS. And also, if you want to join Initiative Q, um, you can use my invite link below. And also, here it is. Um, if you want to get rewarded in crypto, um, download Lumius.io in your favorite app store and Google Play Store, okay? So guys, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, okay? So guys, this has been Vic. Um, bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies. Signing off, alright? So please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.